Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You often have a grouping of related tasks that creates a larger task phase in projects. You can group these lower level tasks, which are often linked together, into a larger task. This larger task is often called a phase or summary task. The summary task or phase consists of the tasks that must be completed to finish that part of the project. In this lesson, we will examine how to indicate a phase in a project file using summary tasks. One way to create a task phase is to create a task that is placed above the various subtasks within the phase. You do not need to set a duration for this task as it is a summary task. This means its duration is calculated by the sum of durations of its subtasks. Name the task whatever you want the phase to be titled and then save the task. If you need to insert a new task above the first subtask in a phase to enter the summary task, click the task above which you want to insert a new task. Then click the New Task button that appears in the Insert button group on the Task tab in the ribbon to insert a new task above the selected task. Then select the new blank task and type the name of the phase or summary task into the task name cell. Next, select the tasks below the summary task that make up the subtasks within the phase. After selecting them, click the Indent Task button that appears in the Schedule button group on the Task tab in the ribbon. The selected tasks are grouped as subtasks below the summary task or phase. Note that the duration of the phase or summary task is the total duration of its related subtasks. To insert a new summary task and its first subtask into a project file, click into a blank task row and then click the Summary button that appears in the Insert button group on the Task tab in the ribbon. Then enter the names of the tasks. After that, click into the next blank task row and enter the names of any other subtasks until you are finished. When you need to create a new primary task that is not part of the summary task, Type its name into the task name cell. Next, click the Outdent Task button that appears in the Schedule button group on the Task tab of the ribbon to remove the task from the Summary task above. You can also link Summary tasks together to note sequential phases in a larger project, if desired. You can also link the start of a Summary task to the completion of the last subtask in the previous phase, if preferred. Regardless of the linking selected, the scheduling of the tasks is performed the same way by Microsoft Project. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.